Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Baumann. I work for Norris MRI Products and I'm the Director of Sales and Market Development for the US. Welcome to this podcast. Today I would like to show you our patient rest and our biopsy solution. Here's the patient rest. It's a four-channel breast coil. Um, there's two, two channels on top here and uh, two channels at the bottom in this insertion coil. This piece slides in and out, max in right there. You see, the patient rest is very light compared to other breast coils. It's just about 15 pounds, and it's also very comfortable for the patient. Over here, our biopsy unit itself, we have, uh, we have two options. One is the post and pillar, or the positioning system, and the other one is the grid localization system um, using, using the regular NORAS grid. First, I would like to show you the post and pillar, how to set it up. You'll have to attach two frames. lateral frame. We have two of those bars here and the longer bars are laterally, the shorter bars are medially. And to the uh, lateral frame I attach the round uh, slab plate which can be adjusted in height 10 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 30 millimeter in uh, 10 millimeter increments. And then to the front of that I attach the uh, post and pillar system or the positioning system. Here we are very flexible. After we um, calculated the coordinates, we can move the bar to the left or to the right. We can change the, after we loosen this up, the height of the bar itself in 10 millimeter increments. can adjust the height of this guidance rail and we can adjust the angle of our angulation here by 15 degree increments. Okay. The emphasis of this podcast, however, I would like to put on our grid system, which is the Norris grid or the height adjustable grid. If you do want to use the height adjustable grid, we will need one of those frames. And, um, in that frame, we can attach the height adjustable grid. Just like that. Also, we can move this in uh, 10 millimeter increments, uh, excuse me, 20, 10 millimeter increments. And this is also um, for lesions that are hard to reach. So we can move it, we can move it upward. We can also move or use our regular grip, our Norris grip, and attach it. When we attach it, we have to make sure that the breast tissue sits tightly in there because later on the image will have to see the imprint of the grid. So make sure it's tightly against the uh, breast tissue. And then once we're done, we can carefully um, plug it into the coil. We see the cutout here, the groove. Okay, and now we see we can rotate this thing um, 360 degrees. Which gives us a very comfortable axis of 270 degrees approximately to the lesion. In this case, the biopsy will be performed laterally. So what we do next is we have our oil marker. If I find it here. First thing we do is we open that oil marker, we take the cap off, fill it up with oil. Plug it into the area where it says marker cal system. This will be our reference or fiducial for later 
Um, that will be uh, the area that we can identify on the uh, MR image. I will show you how to perform the actual biopsy with, um, with a computer animation so it's easier to understand. This is really simple. First, detect the lesion using sagittal slices. Next, go to the slice with the lesion and draw a region of interest, or ROI, a circle around the lesion. And then, copy the ROI circle as a reference into all slices until you see the impression of the grid and the oil marker as reference. Here you can actually see the impression of the grid, the oil marker, and the ROI that we used to mark the lesion. Now you can find out the XY coordinates by counting the openings of the grid in order to find out where the needle block needs to be inserted. Use the oil marker as reference. You are also able to calculate the coordinates by taking the slice thickness, adding the gap and multiplying this by the number of slices. This will give you the penetration depth of the needle. In order to get a more detailed distance of the penetration depth, you can also use axial images and insert an auxiliary line to measure the distance to the lesion. Now that we know the actual coordinates of the biopsy, we use one of our needle blocks. We have 12, 14, and 18 that come, uh, gauge, excuse me, that come in the set. Or we can use um, one of our adapters for the famous vacuum guns for ATEC, Bacora, Mamotome, or Senorex. Before we start with the actual biopsy, um, we still take our uh, needle block. You see the old marker is still here. I would count to to where I would like to insert the needle block. And before I run the actual biopsy, I need to run a control scan, where I use a cannula, um, slide it into the needle block, just to the edge of the lesion to make sure I have the right spot. After the control scan, I can now perform the actual biopsy. After the biopsy, all the grids and pieces used for the biopsy can be autoclaved because the material is a very uh, durable plastic called PEAK. So all of these pieces are reusable. That was it for today. I thank you for your attention. Um, I hope I was able to teach you something new today and I look forward to our next podcast.